that today is we're going to start a ditch right here. We're going to dig down across those farm boards inside the building and then outside the building uh, and then all the way down to that track hole if we can get it done today. It's uh, 11 o'clock. Might not get it done. ditch under my left rear tire here got a ditch behind me that we just dug that's about pretty near five foot deep I think so I've got to get myself off of this ditch and then we've got to hop over this uh, form board the form board up here is probably I don't know 14 inches tall Slide the rear end over here a little bit and then uh, we're going to jump over this form board. I'll try to show you how to do this or how I do it. Um, the tall ones like this are harder to do than the short ones, that's for sure. Uh, it's easy to jump a ditch, it's not so easy to jump a stem wall or a form board or something like that. So. try to get as square with it as we can without running over something on the other side here and we're going to use our front bucket to uh, get our tires as close as we can to the floorboard and then we lift not only do we lift but we're going to tilt the bucket as we drive forward that'll give us a little more height problem with this one, if I sit down here, I'm going to hit my fuel tank and my uh, my oil tank, so I can't, I can't sit down yet. So what I got to do, put it neutral here, I'm going to lift the rear end up, put it back on. Okay, we just basically 
rolled the bucket all the way forward there. I'm gonna, now at this point, I'm gonna turn my bucket back flat and I'm gonna set it down. I'm kind of balancing right now. I'll set it down and since I'm up higher in the air, I'm gonna try to keep my bucket solid. I'm not gonna float it because when you get your back tires in the air this high, like I have to to get over this board, sometimes you'll tip over even when you're in float. You don't want to tip. So then, once I get to the point where I need to come down, then I will actually float the front bucket. Let me see where it's at. It was just barely touching, so. And that got us over. Pretty simple, huh? The reason I had to jump out is because there's so much dirt and there's not any room to drive back the other direction to come around, so... The best option was to do what I just did there, but... I do have, um... I did dig my ditch. This takes a little planning, but I did dig my ditch up close enough so that I could reach it from this side of the form. That way I don't have to worry about having one outrigger over it, one outrigger, you know. If this was a square corner here, it would have made this a whole lot simpler. But as you can see, I think you can see our farm board kind of our corner here is kind of a mess and it's gonna be hard to get this ditch I don't know why they laid it out where they did but this is where they want it uh, it's where the I guess it's where the plan shows it so that's where we're gonna put it this is a main this is like a main trunk line that comes out of the building in several places and goes into the main sewer so I've never seen one quite like this that runs in between the buildings and then under the building and then in between the buildings. It, it's a little different than what I've seen before, but I'm not saying it won't work, it's just a little different, but anyway, it's a, we're bordering on five feet, which is about the point we're going to probably have to start stepping this ditch uh, for safety. The OSHA rules around here say at five feet, you must step or bench or slope your ditches. So a lot of people try to dodge out on that. These guys are pretty good about it. If we're if we're in doubt, we uh, we'll bench it. it. Takes extra it takes extra time, takes extra work, but it's safe and nobody gets hurt. Some companies see it the other way. They'd rather take their chances, and man, it drives me crazy when they do that. I've been lucky enough to not really have anybody injured or severely hurt or anything on the project I'm directly working on. I mean, there's there's been, I've been on jobs where guys have been hurt, but I, I've been fortunate enough, all the years I've been working, I haven't had anybody injured Directly by me, or you know, with the people I'm working with, but uh, just gotta watch out for each other. Be careful. It could happen anytime. You never know. But I'm gonna be digging across this. Uh, I'm actually inside the building now. The ditch I've been digging is in between two buildings. There's like a hallway here that connects them. out here in a minute and check grade. The plumber has got all these guys scrambling to get a bunch of stuff done before the inspector shows up. So He said, go over and dig that ditch and we're going to go over here and do this. So Sometimes I have to check my own grade. That's alright though. Get paid by the hour. It doesn't really matter. I got a little deep down there. Uh, a couple
couple spots. Backfill with sand and gravel, so if we're a little low, they'll be all right. If we're not low enough, they're going to have a problem. It's going to be hard to fix that. Uh, hopefully, I'm doing okay on the grade. All we normally do is go about 10 feet and drop the grade stick an inch, or uh, we actually, yeah, drop the rod an inch. About every 10 feet, we try to drop an inch or eight feet, something like that. Yeah, we're about to get under this footing. And like I say, that offset this footing is in a really bad spot, but that's where they told us to put the pipe, so that's where the pipe's going. I'll have to dig a little bit over to the side. Bucket come under the footing. There we go. Well, lost my bucket a little bit. We're going to have one footing crossed here pretty shortly. I uh, need to probably hop out and check grade. Continue digging here. To 
me, the backhoe is one of the most interesting pieces of equipment on a job because there's a lot of things it can do a lot of people don't understand. Crossing ditches, crossing stem walls, crossing corn boards, that's stuff that, uh, you know, not everybody understands how, the, how it works or how it can be done, but it can be done. 